On today's episode of Car Spotting in downtown Dublin, Ohio, we're starting things off with a Lexus GX460 and a Mercedes uh, either C300 or E300. So as you guys can see, I am on the other side of the river today. Here comes a BMW. One series. See, so I'm on the other side of the river today. And actually, uh, for my first car spawning of downtown Dublin, I spotted over there on that side of the river. There's a GLK. And then on and then I also spotted over here on this side. However, that video ended up being I think it was somewhere between 40 and 50 minutes long. And so I feel like that was definitely quite a bit too long for one car spotting video. And so I decided to just cut the footage of me spotting um you know, past, like right there, I guess you could say. Motorcycle. And then, this looks like a five series. It probably is. Oh, I think I see an S-Class down there. There's a white S-Class down there. Right there. That is a W222. We got an Audi coming up. A5. And this is an X1. Alright, anyway. So the end result of the first video, the first episode, was about 25 minutes long. And so I thought that was a much more reasonable duration for a car spotting episode slash video. So yeah, to make up for that, I'm going to be car spotting on this side of downtown Dublin today. And it will be the only part that I spot in today so that the video isn't 40, 50 minutes long again. All right, here's a Cadillac ATS. All right, let's go this way. Right here looks to be a Range Rover um, Sport, I believe. Yep, and this is a BMW X5, current generation. Here's an X7. Oh, it's an X7 M50i. Cool. Lexus RX350 and an Audi Q8. Not a bad lineup of cars. Here we got a uh, red Jeep Wrangler, four door Sahara edition. Nothing too special about those tires. Ooh, Bentley Bentayga. And finally, a Mercedes C300. Oh, and down there looks to be an Audi R, I mean, not R. S5 convertible. All 
All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video clip off. Here we have a Lincoln Mug Zulu, so the Mug Z. And a two-door Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, Unlimited. Where the Camry Hybrid. Alright. Over there is a Mercedes. Uh, I want to say it's a GLS. If not, then it's just GL. And then over there looks to be a Lexus NX200T F Sport. Oh, there's an ES350 F Sport right there. Alright, now I'm gonna head over to one of these parking garages. Before I do though, ran into another 5 Series. I wanna see if there's anything else over here before I go into the one of the parking garages. Okay, got a uh, Hummer H3 right there. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on in. Right here we have a blacked out Hyundai Genesis Coupe. No license plate on the back and they took off the uh, logo, either the Hyundai Genesis logo or the Hyundai logo. Uh-oh, there's no license plate on the front either. That's illegal, unless if there's a uh, license plate somewhere in the uh, in the car peeking out of the windows. Cool looking tires though, wheels and brake calibers. But yeah, this car is so illegal. But, but yet so cool. Here we have a blacked out Range Rover Velar with the Tesla style door handles. There's an Audi A4. And over here at the electric car charging station, we have a BMW i8 and a Tesla Model S. Currently being charged. No front plate on neither car. Another A4. That Honda Pilot looks pretty dusty. Right here is a Volvo S80 with a V8. This, that is an IS250. And then this kind of looks like one of those um, Scions, but with a uh, Toyota badge on it. Like a Scion SRS or something like that. Yeah, I think it might be. I've always wondered why people do that. It's a lot like putting a Honda badge on an Acura car. And finally, we got a new Honda Insight and the old one parked in the same lot. So for comparison, definitely prefer the look, the look of the new one because the old one looks a lot like the uh, Toyota Prius. In fact, 
Honda originally made the Insight to directly compete with the Prius. Obviously, it couldn't, so they discontinued it, the original model, I think back in like 2010 or something. But then just last year or two years ago, they bought it back. Better than ever. So yeah. Here's an Audi A6, supercharged. All wheel drive. And we got another electric vehicle charging station. We got a black Model S currently being charged. No front plate on this one either, although it does have the uh, like outline or whatever you call it for the front plate. And we got a BMW X2 parked right next to the charging station. Here is a Volvo C30. This car also looks pretty dusty. And unfortunately, it looks like the uh, front windshield, windshield was vandalized by someone or some people because there's some very inappropriate things that were like drawn on it, probably from the persons or the people's hands from the uh, uh, dirt. So to avoid the risk of getting this video taken down due to violating YouTube's community guidelines, I am not going to show it on the camera. All right, right here we have an old school BMW 3 Series. Three twenty five IS. Here's an orange Honda motorcycle parked right next to a CRV. Honda Accord Coupe. Mini Cooper. Dodge Challenger, Cadillac ATS, <laughs> look at that, wash me, couldn't have said it better myself, yep that Cadillac also looked pretty dusty, here we got a cool looking yellow Jeep Wrangler two door Rubicon, not bad tires. And check this out. This BMW legit looks like a car specced for a racetrack, such as NASCAR or the Indianapolis 500. It just says M, however, I have a feeling that it's, a, it's actually a debadged Z4. They just put the M badges on it. But yeah, very cool looking car. If I do say so myself. Quick look at the interior. Looks like a manual to me. It's probably the uh, proper transmission to have in a race car, am I right? Here's a Scion FRS. Here's a Mercedes GLA 250, looks like. Yep. Edition badge. What edition? Special edition? Or is it something else? Another two door Jeep Wrangler. This one's also in a cool looking color. Mercedes E350, license plate Taka Hay. Interesting. Another i8, this one is in black, parked at another electric car charging station, currently being charged. And here we have another black Tesla Model S. 
90D. C300, C300 convertible. Let's check that out. We have a regular, ordinary C300 sedan. And then parked right next to it is a C300 convertible. One black, one white. Another motorcycle. What is this? This is a Hummer or something? This almost looks like a, a tanker or something, like a tank car or like a tank trunk. Truck. Definitely has the tires for uh, off-road action. BMW 3 Series, that's probably another C300. I don't feel like checking the back of that one. Two generations ago, Cadillac Escalade, Range Rover Evoque, another motorcycle, and a Honda Civic Type R. All right, so over here we have a Mercedes M-Class, ML350, Cadillac SRX with the license plate ASAP1, Volkswagen Golf GTI, Audi A5 sedan. Volvo XC60. Lexus IS250 from New Jersey. Audi A6. Ford Focus ST. BMW X5, previous generation from California. And this looks like another A4, although I don't feel like going to the back and check. Five series, another A4. Lexus ES350, BMW 3 Series, license plate Thank 7. Here we have an old school Lincoln Continental. This is probably from the, uh, somewhere between the uh, 50s and the 80s, to the 80s. And here is a C5 Corvette. What transmission? Manual looks like. All right, now I'm at the uh, other parking garage here in this side of downtown Dublin. There's the other one right there. And the first thing I s spotted is a Ford Mustang GT. Looks pretty clean. BMW M5. Here we have an old Acura RSX Coupe and an Audi A4 with a with an expired license plate. Expired back on March 25th of this year, so it's been expired for over two months now. So the owner should probably get it renewed before he or she gets a ticket. Over here, we've got a squad of Acuras. There's an ILX, another one, there's an RDX, TSX, RDX A-Spec, another TSX, we also got this Toyota Camry SE with the license plate Ocean 17, wonder what that's supposed to mean. Another RDX A-Spec. BMW i3 
parked at another electric vehicle charging station currently being charged previous generation BMW X5 and over here is an Acura dealer so wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the Acuras you saw in this parking garage especially the A-spec ones came from this dealership All right, now I'm at a third parking garage over here. Here's a quick view. All right, we got a, a Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara edition, a Volvo XC60, a brand new Chevy Blazer RS, and an Ashton Martin Vanquish. Now this is something you don't see every day. It's got a V12. Very cool. GLA 250, license plate J10R. Debadged BMW, it's probably a 3 Series though. From Wisconsin. And this is a Maserati. Let's see here. Also debadged, but I'm thinking it might be a uh, um, Maserati Quattro Porte or something like that. Possibly. Up here at the top level of this parking garage, we have another BMW i8 Roadster E-Drive, currently being charged at the electric charging station, electric car, char electric car charging station. Here we have a Mercedes S-Class W222 and a CLS parked right next to each other. Lincoln Mark X, Nuggets, license plate on the Subaru, Lincoln Mark Zulu, there's a Z, Cadillac XTS, First generation BMW X5. CLS 550, license plate Dream RZ. Accurate TLX. Audi Q5. Another four-door Jeep Wrangler with a cool looking color and nice looking tires, Sahara edition. Lexus NX200T, Dodge Challenger. And at this charging station, we have a Chevy Volt. A5 with the license plate CLX and an M5. Second generation Mercedes ML350 CDI, CDL, one of the two. Wonder what that's supposed to mean. Audi TT S. Here we have a Honda S2K convertible. Here's a Honda Civic SI Coupe with a wing. Audi S5 convertible. Here's a Chrysler 200, last generation. 
for was discontinued, I believe, around two years ago because it was a failure, at least from what I've heard. BMW 3 Series with the license plate dash UAE, UAI. Not sure how to pronounce that or what it means, but. Over there is a Mercedes E350. And over here is a BMW 5 Series and an Audi Q7. Here we have this cute little Mercedes C350. You, <laughs> License plate on this Toyota Camry. Another Chevy, another Chevy Volt and a BMW 4 Series sedan. There goes a Volvo S60. I, I'm now heading back to my car, which is actually right over there. Yeah, so that's where I parked today. I may or may not end up cutting some footage from today. Because if this footage I, I took today ends up being over 25 minutes, then I'm going to cut some of it. Alright, we got a Lexus of some sort parked right behind me. It is an IS300 with a temporary license plate. So I'd say it may or may not be brand new. All right, really quickly, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick startup of my car and then I'm gonna end off this episode of car spotting in downtown Dublin, Ohio. There was a Porsche convertible that just passed by. ML350 right there. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. You guys could really hear the engine that well, but it started. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time.